we made 64,000 beads out of plastic waste. And these have been turned into bracelets and anklets to raise money for surfers against sewage. This whole project started by picking plastic waste off the beach five minutes from our workshop. This video is sponsored by Skillshare. We've lived on the coast our entire lives, which means we're lucky enough to have gorgeous views like this right on our doorstep. But an increasingly growing problem is the amount of waste left on our beaches by thoughtless tourists, lazy people, and other totally inconsiderate <laughs> So we've been combing the sand as much as possible to get this waste off of the beach and recycle as much of it as we can. Ooh. Push me. <laughs> As well as bits of old fishing net and crisp packets, there were absolutely loads of these little tiny plastic pieces known as nurdles. These are pre-production virgin plastic pellets that companies buy to make their plastic products. These are super time consuming to collect and really hard to work with, but we would love to try. However, that's for another video. With regular trips to the beach, even for just a five minute clean, we've quickly amassed a whole load of plastic waste. Everything that we could potentially use comes back to our workshop where we can find out what it is using our Plastel scanner. This machine is invaluable, especially when it comes to beach plastic, as more often than not, there's no symbol at all or it's been worn away by the elements. After a quick wash to get rid of any leftover sand, we can add the beach plastic to our stocks of material that we collect from all over our local community. Then it's on to the most satisfying part of the process, shredding. So the reason that we're doing all of this is that a local jewellery company called Pineapple Island approached us to find out if we could help them make bracelets from 100% waste materials. Now when we first got the email and we were asked, hey, can you make beads out of recycled plastic? We thought, happy days, we've already got a bead mould, let's go. So we made some larger beads as well as some other products to show off our extraordinary manufacturing capabilities to the wonderful folk at Pineapple Island. They absolutely fell in love with our tropical whirlpool colour blend, but they wanted them in smaller beads for their bracelets and their anklets. So we had a new mould designed and made up, and then had to prep a big old batch of tropical whirlpool ready for the order. And while you watch us mix 13.7 kilograms of plastic waste that's needed for these beads, we thought this would be a perfect time to tell you about the sponsor of this video, Skillshare. Making videos and building projects means that we are constantly having to be creative. And now that Brothers Make is a full-time gig, woo we're always trying to find new ways to build out our skill set and try new things. You may have heard of us talking about using Skillshare before for things like illustration and video editing, but it's actually got hundreds of career-focused classes on there too. We are big old believers that it's never too late to change your path and reinvent who you are. And if you're not sure where to begin, Skillshare even has classes to help you with the basics, such as time management, or to refine your branding. The last class that we watched was Make a Coffee Table from Cardboard, which shows you how you can take all these little scraps of material and make something that's really cool and a really effective piece of furniture. This class has inspired us to take a look at an old project that we did where we turned plastic bags into wallets and see if we can change it up a little bit and make a bigger furniture piece from it. Make sure you're subscribed as we might just try this in our next video. But if there's anything that we've taught you, it's not to trust anything that's too good to be true. Luckily, you don't have to, as the awesome people over at Skillshare have hooked us up and the first 1,000 of our subscribers will get a free one month trial to Skillshare. A massive thank you to Skillshare for sponsoring this video, but I think it's now time to make all the beads.
Before we start a big batch order like this, we'd like to purge our machines of any colour that was left in there from the previous round. But since we're all about recycling, we're not going to let this precious material go to waste. Instead, it gets shredded back down and it becomes one of our most popular colour blends, Nebula, which is our re-recycled colourway. This new mould makes 56 4mm beads per injection, which means we're going to need to do 1,200 injections if we want to reach our target of 64,000 beads. And each bead has to be snipped. Twice. Once to get rid of the tiny overflow, and the other to snip it off the sprue. So that's 128,000 snips by hand. I'm tired just thinking about it. So then it's just a case of rinse and repeat, but fortunately there's four of us in the team now, so it will be twice as quick as it usually would be with just the two of us. Also, we can keep rotating all the jobs to keep it nice and interesting. We even set up a little milestone chart to help us track how many plastic beads we've made so far. Now we didn't get to 64,000 in just one day. In reality, it took us about three weeks of manufacturing before we hit our target. But when we finally did, oh, did it feel good. <laughs> When they're all snipped, 64,000 beads do not take up very much room at all. But the sprues from all the beads completely covered our workbench. Of course, we'll be shredding these right back down and these will go into the next batch of Tropical Whirlpool. Pineapple Island came on back to the workshop to collect their beads and worked their magic to turn them into their bracelet and anklet collection. They even used 100% recycled plastic thread woven into a cord with each bead knotted in place. So here they are, all strung up and looking lovely. The marble turquoise colour looks so good, contrasted against the recycled cord material. The great thing about this design is that if you did somehow manage to break the cord, you wouldn't end up having beads flying all over the place that are super hard to collect. We are very proud to have been part of this collaboration and to help raise money for Surfers Against Sewage. If you want to treat yourself as well as support a great cause, you can grab yourself one of these branklets or... Branklets? Branklets! <laughs> You can pick up one of these anklets or bracelets. We'll pop a link to the Pineapple Island store in the description below. And if you want to find out more about Surfers Against Sewage and the awesome work they do to protect our oceans, we'll add a link for that too. A massive thank you to you wonderfully perfect people for watching, but there is a group of people who are, you know, who are even more wonderfully perfect. <laughs> even more. I don't know, I don't want to explain. 
but they are they're, they're, they're the elites. They they are they are the elite. Oh, they are the brotherhood, and they are they're sublime. You can join them as well. You can join them. Ah, you can become you, sublime. How, how do you join them, Matt? You can join them by going to patreon.com forward slash brothers make. Uh, again, link in the description, I guess. Thank you so much, all of you. We love you. See you on the next one. See you later. Roll up, roll up, get your branklets, get your branklets here. Can I have a Let's go. Please.